Good afternoon guys and welcome to the channel. Hope y'all are having a great day. Uh, it is another cold one here, no surprise. Uh, the cops are out. I don't know what he's doing. Sitting. Also, sadly, today is a, a sad day uh, where we are on our way to return the ZR2. Um, it's been a great, I've had it for like almost two weeks now, really. And it's been a really, really great time. If you haven't seen the full review on the truck, definitely check it out. What a great, great little truck. And uh, it's way better than I remember. I drove one briefly for a couple hours to make a review back in the day. Like it was probably three or four months ago. Super impressive little truck. And uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend one. And again, a huge thank you to Click Lewis. Uh, their info is down below. If you want a truck, they got, I think they have four or five ZR2s in stock and they have hundreds of other trucks if you want something else. The good news is we will soon have a cheap truck build on the channel, which I am really, really freaking hype about. And uh, so, although I might have to give this one back, uh, it's setting me up to do something that I also really love. So it's all it's all part of the plan. Usually they got some cool cars at R. Miller. You can see the white Corrado in there. You can just barely see it. And uh, nothing too crazy. Look like a 370Z and a CTSV. Uh, but they they do some awesome stuff there. That's actually where Troy got his Lambo fixed back in the day when he uh, hit a deer in his Gallardo. An old cop car in there. Look at that. That front license plate gonna get me demonetized though. Rolling up, and they actually have. I wanted to show you guys this color on that ZR2. It's like a dark blue green. That is awesome. Really cool. Like I said, they got them in stock. All right, ZR2. It's been real, buddy. It's been real. All right, boys, here we go. Here we freaking go. And uh, I wasn't as excited as I was. I mean, I figured this deal was gonna go through. But I wasn't like in the beginning of the upload, I even debated on whether to like restart this video because I, I don't know if I, I didn't wanna start it out like not super excited. I didn't know if the deal was gonna go through so I made an offer on a truck I found on Facebook Marketplace. By the way, Facebook Marketplace seems to be better now for vehicles than Craigslist. Craigslist used to be, back when I was younger, back in the day, that was the thing and now craigslist is like dead it just has millions of like dealer posts and everything else so i got on facebook marketplace and i've been looking for a project truck for a while now like at least i'd say two or three months looking for the right one my budget was 1500 bucks so i was trying to find something that was running and driving of course it's not going to be great it's not going to be pretty for 1500 bucks but something that was running and driving and was like decent, you know, not a complete lost cause piece of crap. Well, I finally, well, I found a couple and, um, you know, usually people were asking too much and I would try to lowball them and nobody would take it. Um, but then I found a 1997 Tahoe. It looks really nice. Uh, the family, they don't seem to really care. You know, some people like, oh, they, I know what I have, like no lowballers. They don't really seem to care um, even though it's a very in-demand vehicle. So they only listed it for 1,900 bucks. First it was like 2,200, then they reduced it and I offered them like 1,200. We came to an agreement on 1,500 bucks and that's why I'm here at the bank right now, literally as I vlog right now, I'm at the bank. Um, and it's a two-door Tahoe, so a full-size Blazer from the 90s. It's freaking awesome. If you guys don't know, my first ever vehicle was a 1989 Chevy. Uh, then my favorite vehicle was the one I bought after that, which was a 92. Um, so I love that generation of trucks. I think they refer to that as OBS, the old body style. Um, and then the ones from the mid 2000s are NBS, new body style. And then after that, more recently, it's NNBS or whatever they call it. But I love the 90s, 90s trucks, Ford, Chevy, Dodge even. I mean, they all look so freaking good. They're timeless, like they never look old. And I think we, I think we got a winner. Hey guys, how are we doing? The Bulldogs are along for the trip, of course. All right, boys, get in the cash, 1500 bucks. As I'm in there, I realized that I drove this truck here. My girlfriend has her car over there to give me a ride, but I realized if I'm getting a vehicle, because I was so excited, 
I wasn't thinking if I'm getting another vehicle, I don't need two vehicles to go there. So I'm going to get in her car. Clearly, I'm very excited. That's got me all jacked up. And I've been wanting to do this for years. And, uh, you know, like for years, I wanted to get back to my roots, so to speak, and do a, uh, an older truck project. And I can't believe it's finally freaking happening. All right, I'll just sit up. All right, I got the cash. We're going up the road there. Just right up the street. You want some cash, Piglet? Oh. You guys excited for the Blazer? I know I am too, buddy. I'm really excited. She is ready. She's got her ears up. They're always up, but she is ready for this Blazer. She's so not ready. We have anything to go for this so I can get my angle. She looks ready. <laughs> she looks tired. She's ready. Here it is. Make a right, make a right. Beautiful view. But this thing is out in the wilderness. Pig's leaning to the left to counter the turn. Let's see if she leans. She's great. Here she goes. She's gonna lean in. Look, look at her lean into it. She's like riding a motorcycle. <laughs> Arrived. <laughs> there it is. I do see it. It's up there. <gasps> oh. Got a big old hill here. Oh yes, folks. Oh yes. There it is. Look at it. Oh my god. It's oh. sick. Nice. Wow. Okay, well, I'm just... Oh my God. It's freaking awesome. It's awesome. Good. How are you doing? Looks Mike, great. Mike. Yep, yep, Mike. Bob? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great, I mean, it's a classic, man. I don't know what your, your plans are. Hey, for 1500 bucks, I can't complain. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. Looks really nice. I, I thought it was blue in the pictures. <laughs> You gotta hit the back. Uh, you know, like kind of a winter vehicle and oh, yeah, take it to the beach and. Yeah, I tell you what, it's a great little truck, man. It's and I mean that's the problem. It's two door, I mean, and, and you got a family. Yeah. yeah, we got another grandbaby on the way. Well, I get it. Came, so it's great for the the old one for softball. You know, they throw the crap in here for softball. And yeah. You can go from there. Definitely. Full size spare and all. Yeah. That's sweet. All right, boys. Here we are. We are in the Tahoe. The Blazer, baby, we are driving it. It looks so freaking cool. God, this brings back memories. Now, mine was, like I said, older. This is a 97, mine was a 92. Um, so the dashboard was all different. Uh, this is actually a pretty modern, that, well, not modern, but that's what they put in like a, a C5 Corvette. You get the same radio. Anyway, it brings back freaking memories. It looks the same, it sounds the same. And this is so freaking hype. 1500 bucks for this thing. You can't freaking beat that. You can't beat that at all. Look at it, I got push button, four wheel drive. I don't know if anything works in here yet. I, I don't know. Uh, literally, uh, and I didn't, you know, put the guy on camera. I didn't want to be like, oh, do you care? It's just weird to ask people to do a video and it's, it's like a five minute thing. Hopefully you didn't mind being in my pocket there uh, with a little bit of audio. Um, but I don't know anything about it. We're just, I mean, he said he already went down and did all the title stuff. Uh, so we're gonna do that and then we'll I mean lots of content to come of course going over everything But this is it it runs and drives it feels really nice. It's even aligned, which is kind of rare hell my Duramax is <laughs> isn't even aligned and uh, We we're in it. We're in the new project truck for the channel guys. This is I, I can't I'm so excited about this I've been wanting to get an old truck for so freaking long. There's a cool one little s10 with a Baja rack Think. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I am super excited for this and it's, I, I can't it's so awesome it's Sad that I'm more excited about this than I think I am about like McLaren's or Lambo's or anything like I'm literally more excited about this Than a supercar. Don't get me wrong. I love those too and they have their place, but this is like this is the shit right here really excited to do something different for you guys content wise I've done so many things that you know are expensive and like the McLaren and a, a Duramax build that definitely isn't cheap This is gonna be something totally different. This is going to be a cheap build It's gonna remain a cheap build and I'm not gonna go like crazy with it And I'm gonna show you what you can do for not a whole lot of money So here is where we're going to do that's where we're gonna do the title work. Look at that freaking. I think it's a Unimog It's pretty sweet. I guess I'll park here. I don't know Whoa Look at this place. Holy crap. Dakar Rally Porsche. 
What is this place? This is like freaking awesome. Hello? All right, guys. So uh, after taxes and the title fees and everything, uh, I think it was it was like 300 and 300 and something. Seatbelt's a little iffy. After all that, I got 105, 10, 30, 50. 150 bucks left over, and there was some change and like a couple ones, but I said oh, I'm not worried about that because he didn't have any ones. Uh, so basically, what out the door for. Uh, 1,850 bucks. That's how much it actually cost me in full to take this truck home today, and that's a damn good deal. Let's get her home. I don't know what's going on here. Something, but I can't wait to get the freaking Blazer back to its home. All right, boys, and there she is. We made it back in one piece. Everything is good to go. Uh, and I didn't really film too much on the drive home because that's going to be a separate video, the first drive, talking about uh, all the features and options and everything else. Uh, but overall, you know, I'd really give it, I mean, for a truck that it was only 1500 bucks, I would give it a nine out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10, because what, what the hell do you want for that money? Um, but it's really, really cool. It's got a little bit of rust. Again, we'll talk about all that in an upcoming upload. I gotta spread things out. That's my job. I can't get too excited and do everything all at once. I gotta have income from multiple videos, of course. Uh, otherwise, I would sit here for the next three hours talking about it. I really would. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty freaking cool. And I am more than excited about this truck. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Uh, take care and have a great day. One more little detail. There is one thing we got to do to make it real, to make it official. This is how you know, it's really mine. No tricks here. The GM keys are going on. Welcome to the family, Blazer. Welcome to the family. I was just thinking, I recently had a video sponsored by the Cove Speaker, and this is literally perfect. I can use it in the truck. So if you want one for your old vehicle that doesn't have a new head unit in it, uh, or for any number of other purposes where you might use a speaker, check them out at the link down below. They have always been a great supporter of the channel. And uh, the link down below in the description will give you a massive discount uh, off of the price. Sweet, I can have like a rocking chair when I drive.